In the fast-paced world of filmmaking, 2025 is shaping up to be an exciting year, with Sony leading the charge in cinema camera innovation. As technology advances, both professional filmmakers and enthusiasts eagerly await the new cameras expected to push creative boundaries even further. Sony, known for its cutting-edge technology and versatile camera lineup, is rumored to release several new models that could redefine cinema production. In today's video, we will explore the upcoming Sony cinema cameras, focusing on the features and improvements that are expected to make a major impact in the film industry in 2025. So without further ado let's get started. The rumored Sony FX32 is generating buzz in the filmmaking community, with speculation about groundbreaking features like a global shutter, which could eliminate rolling shutter distortion in fast-moving scenes. This advancement would be a game-changer for videographers seeking crisp, distortion-free footage. Additionally, there's talk of the FX32 potentially merging the A7S and FX lines, streamlining Sony's product lineup. Rumored specs include 4K recording at 180fps for impressive slow-motion capabilities and a fanless design for silent operation. While the camera might lack an internal electronic viewfinder, an attachable external EVF could be offered. The FX32 is expected to maintain its predecessor's compact, lightweight design, ideal for versatile shooting scenarios. However, it's crucial to approach these rumors cautiously, as Sony hasn't confirmed any details. If true, the FX32 could become a go-to camera for professional videographers, offering advanced features in a user-friendly package. There are rumors about Sony possibly releasing a new cinema camera called the FX10, aimed at beginner filmmakers and videographers. While Sony hasn't confirmed anything yet, Speculation suggests the FX10 might offer 4K video recording at 60 frames per second, using a 26 megapixels APS-C CMOS sensor and BIONZ XR processor for faster processing. It is expected to be compact and lightweight, making it easy to carry around. The camera might support full HD recording at 240 frames per second. However, it may lack in-body image stabilization, affecting handheld shooting and low-light performance and might only offer 8-bit color depth, which could limit professional color grading. Some also speculate that it may overlap with Sony's existing FX30, raising questions about its overall value. On the bright side, rumors suggest the FX10 will be affordable, making it attractive for newcomers to filmmaking. However, since Sony hasn't confirmed anything yet, it's best to take these details with caution until an official announcement is made. Sony's new FX50 is rumored to have the potential to drastically alter the movie business. It's said to feature a 35mm full-frame sensor, offering a dynamic range of at least 15 stops, which helps capture details in both bright and dark scenes ideal for filmmakers. The FX50's design seems inspired by the Canon C70 but is expected to be more compact and lightweight, making it portable without compromising performance. Key features might include autofocus, in-body image stabilization, IBIS, and an electronic variable ND filter, all essential for professional filmmaking. In comparison to the FX30, the FX50 might offer a higher dynamic range and a sensor optimized specifically for video, making it a solid choice for pros. Alongside the FX50, rumors about a Sony A6700 R hint at a focus on high-resolution photography continuing Sony's expansion into video-focused products. With potential new lenses and accessories, Sony seems committed to advancing video innovation for filmmakers at all levels. With its potentially revolutionary features, the much-discussed Sony FX32 is causing quite a stir among filmmakers. At its core is said to be a 26.1 MP APS circa BSI CMOS sensor, coupled with Sony's advanced BIONZ XR processor and a new AI unit. This powerhouse combination could deliver exceptional image quality and improved low-light performance. Key rumored features include an AI-based real-time tracking autofocus system and 8-stop 5-axis stabilization, 
potentially revolutionizing handheld shooting. Video capabilities are expected to be impressive, with 4K recording at up to 120fps and 10-bit 4, 2, 2 internal recording. The inclusion of professional color profiles in a wide dynamic range could rival higher-end cinema cameras. Maintaining a compact, cage-free design, the FX32 might offer dual-card slots and support for user LUTs and timecode sync, making it appealing to both solo operators and larger production teams. However, it's important to remember these are unconfirmed rumors until Sony makes an official announcement. The Sony FX6 has a compact, lightweight design, perfect for handheld and gimbal work, with a professional metallic gray finish and a large cooling vent to prevent overheating. In the FX6 II, users hope for the same size but a stronger build, and a locking E-mount for heavier lenses. The FX6 a full-frame 4.2K sensor performs well in low light, but an upgrade to 6K or 8K resolution could offer more post-production flexibility while maintaining fast readout speeds. The current model records 4K at 120fps in 10-bit 4, 2, 2, but higher frame rates like 180fps or 240fps and the ability to record 6K or 8K would be a big improvement. The autofocus system is reliable, but adding AI for better non-human subject tracking would be great. With 15 stops of dynamic range and Sony's s Cinetone color science, any enhancements in these areas would be welcomed. Users hope for advanced audio features, built-in Wi-Fi, and possibly higher capacity batteries. In-body image stabilization and internal RAW recording are also features filmmakers would love to see in the FX6 II. The Sony FX9, known for its 6K full-frame Exmor RCMOS sensor and 15 stops of dynamic range, has set a high standard for professional videographers. It supports DCI 4K and UHD 4K up to 60p, quad full HD 120p RAW recording, and HD at 180fps. The rumored Sony FX9 II is expected to improve on these features with a new 8.7m pixel size DCI 4K HDR BSI sensor, replacing the IMX410 sensor, for better low-light performance and image quality. This new sensor might offer up to DCI 4K 120p recording with XOCN, a significant upgrade from the FX9. Additionally, the FX9 II may feature multi-base ISO settings for more flexibility in different lighting conditions, improving dynamic range and color accuracy. While details about design changes remain unclear, users can expect ergonomic improvements for better handling. Along with the FX9 II, Sony's 2024 roadmap suggests more camera releases, including a potential A7 SIV in the late summer and possibly another Alpha camera by the end of the year. The rumored Sony A7S IV is shaping up to be an exciting evolution in the Alpha series, potentially featuring a new 24-megapixels Exmor R-stacked CMOS sensor a first for Alpha cameras. While maintaining its predecessor's video-centric design, it may offer improved ergonomics and weather sealing. The camera is expected to excel in video performance, with 4K, 60p recording using full-frame 6K oversampling, and 4K, 120p in Super 35mm mode. A notable addition could be 6K recording at up to 120fps. Low-light performance is anticipated to be exceptional due to a two-layer transistor design with large photodiodes. The body stabilization might be upgraded to eight stops with new digital features. Interestingly, the EVF could be downgraded to 3.69 M. Dot, possibly for improved refresh rates. The rumored Sony A7 V is expected to be a big advance to the Alpha series. It's expected to adopt a body design similar to the A7 R5, featuring a 4-axis multi-angle LCD monitor and dual CF Express Type-A compatible media slots. Key improvements may include an 8-stop in-body image stabilization system and a dedicated AI processing unit. The camera is likely to retain the 33-megapixel sensor from its predecessor but with major enhancements, including a doubled readout speed and a lower base ISO of 80 for improved dynamic range.
Video capabilities are rumored to be impressive, with 7K full-width oversampled 4K recording at up to 60 FPS and nearly 16 stops of dynamic range. In Super 35mm mode, it might offer 4.6K oversampled 4K at up to 120 FPS with a remarkably fast readout time. Additional features could include improved autofocus, log recording, LUT handling, and various AI-based enhancements borrowed from other Sony models. That was all about the Sony upcoming cinema camera lineup 2025. So which you liked the most let me know in the comment below.